what comes in does not make us unclean. Rather, what comes out makes us unclean. What makes us clean and unclean? What makes us good or bad? The answers to these questions are what our gospel message is for today. Let us then reflect on these three points. First, what comes in does not make us unclean. Rather, what comes out makes us unclean. The Gospel today tells us that what comes in, like the food that we take, goes to the stomach and then comes out. And that must make us unclean. While what comes out from within, what we talk or say and think, makes us unclean. Because what comes out is coming from the heart. The heart is the center and core of the human person, where our real identity resides. It is where we can communicate with our God. Therefore, Jesus reminds us that we should constantly clean and watch our hearts. How? This leads us to the second point. Second, change of heart. The Gospel today invites us that to be clean from within, we need to have a change of heart. Jesus reminds us to stop looking outwardly. Let us stop backbiting. Let us stop being marites. Let us stop accusing or bearing false witness to others. Let us stop judging others. Rather, let us cultivate the culture of love. Let us help each other build oneself. Let us help each other to achieve one's dreams and let us reach out to each other for reaching out to the heart of other person is reaching out to the God in the other person. Jesus reminds us of this calling that we need to have a change of heart for we need to be holy. How to be holy? This leads us to the third and final point, which is Jesus is the way to holiness. We are reminded that the world that we live is not everlasting. All that we gain in this world, the food that we eat, the clothing that we wear, the power that we gain, the money that we have reserved in the bank, and all the things that we achieve are nothing, for they can make us holy. Only one thing is necessary, that is to follow our Lord Jesus. To follow Him means to focus on the way of God. He showed us the way and the way to live in this world 
is to follow his ways and not the world. Thank you, my dear brothers and sisters, and may God bless us all. This is Sister Maria Alice Elioran from the Congregation of the Religious of the Virgin Mary. <laughs>